paddle sports are becoming increasingly popular in the Broads National Park. It's a great way to get out into the fresh air and exercise, and you can also do it relatively inexpensively. There's a huge range of canoes, kayaks and paddle boards. You can even pick up inflatable kayaks and paddle boards in supermarkets nowadays. A great way to start is to hire for one of the many hire specialists dotted all over the Broads National Park. Here at Hippersons, they have kayaks and the more traditional, larger Canadian canoes, which are great for couples or for families with young children who want to go off and explore in a quiet way. There are also paddle boards for hire, and there are specialist training centres who will assist you with training basic skills, or you can brush up on your paddling skills. The Broads is home to over a quarter of the UK's rarest wildlife and it's so much easier to spot things like otters and kingfishers when you're in a boat without an engine. It's a great way to get on the water and to escape the busier parts of the Broads. So Steve, what are the main safety points we need to consider when we're canoeing? The most important safety you have to have is a buoyancy aid and also research, especially if you're only doing it for the first time, research what you're doing. The Broad Authority has got a fantastic website where you can find some safety tips. Have a taster, see if you really like it or not, but that's the most important thing is a buoyancy aid and a bit of research. It's absolutely fantastic. For me, I think it's a really nice way to get a little bit of exercise but at a slow pace. You're part of nature especially if you um, go late afternoon where you can see the wildlife and just drift with the tides. Check your tides, make sure somebody knows where you're going and just enjoy yourself. So Nick, you go canoeing a lot on the broads. What's the best part about it? Really being back to nature and being part of the environment. Today we just saw a kingfisher sitting by the side of the river. It was absolutely beautiful. The kingfishers are special always, but it's lovely to see some of the small stuff, the dragonflies in the summer, which will sometimes land on your, on your canoe. But when the water's really clear, it's nice to look down and see the fish. And there's a lot of fish down there yeah. when the water's just right. And have you got any special places to go? I would suggest the upstream bits of the rivers. If you're canoeing away from where all the motorboats are, you'll get a much greater chance of seeing wildlife. So this is a great spot. The, the Goldstone Lock stretch is fabulous. It's really quiet. Quieter the river is, the more chance of seeing wildlife, the more chance of really getting away from it all as well. Oh, it's been absolutely super. I love coming here and we've had an incredible day. The sun has shone, we've seen a kingfisher and it's been absolutely beautiful. So I can't wait to come back for another time.